Hello guys, this is Cat Legend, and today I'm going to show you how to make a propeller on Onship. First, click on the sketch option and select the top plane as the sketch plane. Then, create a circle in the middle. Click on the circle option and create a circle in the middle. We're going to make the circle's diameter 30 millimeters. Then, click on the green tick mark. After that, select the extrude option and click on the circle we just made. The depth is going to be 50 millimeters. And make sure it's a solid and a new, otherwise it won't work. Then click on the green tick mark. After that, after that, we're gonna create a helix. So click on the helix option and make it he and make it a uh, height and pitch. And our circular edge is gonna be the circle we just made in the beginning. The height is going to be 50 millimeters, and our helical pitch is going to be 200 millimeters. Then click on the green tick mark. After that, click on the sketch option and select the top plane. Create a point, then click on the point option and create a point at the beginning of our helix. Then click on the line option and create a line, a straight line on our helix. We're gonna make the diameter, I mean, not the diameter, the length of the line 100 millimeters. And then click on the green tick mark. After that, select the sweep option and make sure it's a surface and a new, otherwise it won't work. Select the line as their edges and sketch curves to sweep, and our sweep path is going to be our helix. Then click on the green tick mark. After that, click on the thicken option and select the face of sweep 1, which is the propeller-like shape we just made. Make sure it's a new, otherwise it won't work. And we're going to make it 0.5 millimeters as direction 1, and the same thing for direction 2. Then click on the green tick mark. After that, click on extrude and select sketch 1. And we're going to make the depth 70 millimeters. And then we're going to create a second end position, which is going to be 2, 5 millimeters. Make sure it's a solid in the add, otherwise it won't work. And make the merge go part 1. Then click on the green tick mark. After that, click on the fill it option and select the face of extra 2. Make it 15 millimeters as the radius, then click on the green tick mark. After that, click on fill it and select the edge of thicken 1 and the edge of thicken 1, 2. And we're going to make the radius 1 millimeter. Then click on the green tick mark. After that, we're going to click on fill it again and select this. We're going to select this right there. And we're also going to select this. And we're going to make it 30 millimeters. Then click on the green tick mark. After that, click on circular pattern and we're going to choose part two and our axis is going to be the edge of extra two to make our four propellers. And you can change the instance counts like you can make it 10 if you want to have 10 or you can make it six. But I'm going to have four. And then click on the green tick mark. If you want, you can change the appearance of everything. So you could just do that and then add appearance to 9, uh, 39 faces. And then I'm going to make it silver. And ta-da. This is our beautiful propeller we made. And please like and subscribe I'll, appre I'll appreciate it very much if you do thank you and cat legend out